Okay, here's the, the Prince of Darkness. Yeah. It's like Satan to me. <laughs> he is the Prince of Darkness, isn't he? <laughs> we got some stuff for you to hear too, but first we're gonna we're gonna bleed here. Okay. We intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. We intend to release all from the bondage of time and money, safe passage into the Garden of Eden, and forgiveness for our filthy souls. For Mr. Satan, Mr. Satan, the 144,000 hellblazers, brothers and, and sisters, and for the new picture, here, I'm going to give you some. Yeah, the new picture needs to see if you can spot <laughs> And Chris So what? You've been lied to all your life, okay? And I, I want to show you some stuff that we found. Because, you know, the Huntsman 144,000 has been yelling about this forever and and, and people that, think... Who sent you that comment? It was on your bell. Where'd that come from? Which one? The one we've been watching this all morning. Is that, 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 that thing we just watched. Oh, no, because I, I watched some of their stuff. Universe Inside Me has a lot of good stuff in it. And uh, some, some of the stuff talks about the hollow earth and the legends and stuff. And see, you know, you just need to watch it because it talks about the Vatican and all the knowledge that they have that they've withheld and you know that's your inheritance you know they, they don't tell you that they separate man and woman they they tell you what what kind of fairy tales do they tell you when the truth is hidden in here but most people can't see it and they know that you know that's what that's why they do what they do I try to tell people, you know what, the earth is flat, and they laugh, they, and I'm like, really, what, did he go, did, tell me this, they sent Columbus to go discover that the earth was what, flat or round, think about it, they wanted him to discover it was round, so they sent him on a mission, it was flat earth, and they want to hide your inheritance, so you must get to the center of the Holy of Holies, the flat earth plane, and drink of the living waters and get the seeds to plant these giant trees. And, and you know what? Nothing else matters. You know, no money, worship, or advice. Nothing, none of that is going to get you anywhere. anywhere. You have to show proof of life to your creator. And you know what? Never was it I. God, God is, is a woman. woman. And you know, why wouldn't you have a mother and a father? To me, that sun is warming you. And that's the one thing that keeps everything going. And that's the one thing. They've been talking about global warming. They're liars. Watch this. Let's look at this. Let's, let's put this on and show them. I'm going to show you guys something. I have to turn my volume down here and I'll turn the other one up. So, watch, Just watch this little clip, okay? But would you believe that the research goes back even further? Medal of Honor recipient Admiral Richard E. Byrd wrote a book called Alone about his experience in the Arctic. No one at the time would have noticed that the book cover shows sky aerosol patterns. This book was published back in 1938, after the First World War when these technologies were being studied at the poles. It's also worth noting that Byrd had a way of sharing important information with the public through cryptic messages, as we discussed in our video about Inner Earth, which was curiously censored by YouTube. 
you can expect it to be re-uploaded again soon. By the way, the publisher later changed the image on this cover when it was re-released. That was 80 years ago. So if we believe the common narrative about this technology only being researched for potential use in the future, this means that since the first studies in it began, we've sent spacecraft beyond Pluto, we've cloned life forms, developed artificial intelligence, created supersonic jets, the internet, cell phones, and more, but apparently have had no advancement in our understanding of the effects of cloud seeding and SAI. Is that possible? Kevin Shipp was formerly a decorated CIA officer. In his book, From the Company of Shadows, he reveals the shocking facts about covert climate engineering, including massive aerosol dumps over populations and the electromagnetic energy networks that are designed to manipulate air masses. These weather technologies have been researched and implemented for decades. Seeing how incredibly effective, how complicated, and how harmful these technologies are to life, it's no wonder so little is shared with the public. Also in his book, The Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark, Carl Sagan said, One of the saddest lessons of history is this. If we'd been bamboozled long enough, we'd tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozles captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. Some of their channel has things on the Vatican had a, a book in there and it was uh, the grand grimoire and don't ever think that these aren't just dirty spells just like when they tell you you're sick and then you get sick you know but it's all been a plan and everybody's worried about mask you know that that's not going to help you see you see what I'm saying because nobody wants to look at what's really happening and that's okay you don't have to look at it if you don't want to but I'm telling you you'll see a lot more if you do a blood over intent write on a piece of paper I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all put a drop of blood on it publish it to YouTube tag and title it blood over intent join us in blood or expire of your own stupidity this can all be stopped. You need to get to Mr. Satan's channel and catch up on reality. And uh, see how to show proof of life to your creator. Never was it I. God is a woman. <laughs>